Good morning. It's Good News Friday. I will be talking about England, this amazing place. I'm a big fan of the English people. And I understand what is happening here. Why the UK is leaving the EU tonight at 11 p.m. And I think it's important to remember the sequence of events, what is happening, why it happened. Because the globalists, they will try to persuade people that it's something else. They will invent some bullshit cause for this, like uh, hatred or uh, the Russians or Trump or something, you see. But this is really what happened. It started with the people. You know, I think there is something with the English spirit. It's a tradition, but there's something here. They are standing up to bullies, you see. That's what they do, the English citizens. And this is what happened. They started talking to each other and they agreed. They agreed that they didn't like being bullied by these assholes in Brussels. Yeah, that's what started it. And then came along Nigel Farage. He told this story himself. He was listening to people, you see, and he decided to do something. And uh, people started to support him, right? So it started with the people, of course. <laughs> and then you had this referendum, finally, in 2016, and this beautiful result. And then what happened? Well, you were bullied again, right? By your own establishment, by your own politicians, by the BBC. It was despicable. So they tried to stop you, and then again, you stood up to them. Yeah. And then you had this amazing result in the election in December. This was fantastic. And now you're leaving. It's great. So you did it. Against all odds, as I said. You know, the globalists, I, th I think they were certain that they would be able to stop this. They had it all planned out. They had Theresa May, they had all these, they had the BBC, everything. The establishment was just fighting this decision to leave. But it still happened. It's, uh, it's beautiful, that's what it is. And I think you guys in England, you have created this road here in Europe. It's a very nice road towards nationalism. And others can walk this road now. You made it. Yeah, I, I love this. And uh, about BBC, here's a funny thing. You know, uh, tonight uh, Boris Johnson will do a speech. He already made the speech, but it will be broadcasted tonight. And normally, uh, this is handled by the BBC. You know, they send their cameras and their crew and do the thing and then they broadcast it. But not this time. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, so the, the speech is already done and it will be broadcasted on social media. So it will be from Boris Johnson directly to the people. And BBC will not be able to do something or edit or something, you see? It's beautiful. And the BBC, they are very upset about this. And they say that they may not even broadcast it. <laughs> Stupid assholes. Yeah. So, there it is. And uh, I have another story, actually. It's from Greece. You know, there, there was a new government in Greece, uh, I think it was six, seven months ago. And I was quite hopeful. And then I was disappointed. But maybe there is something with this new government. They are now planning to install a floating fence in the sea to stop migrants reaching its islands from Turkey. Now this is the very important border because this is where the people from the Middle East come into Europe. They go to Turkey and then cross the sea over to Greece to these awful camps and then some of them, a lot of them, are going further into Europe. So, a floating fence, yeah. 
uh, this, they start with the 1.7 mile barrier will be put in place within the next three months. It's especially the island of Lesbos. Uh, you know, there were uh, protests in Lesbos. I talked about it recently. Big, huge protests. And they, the, the government is trying to find a private contractor to build it. So, this is good. So, I'm, I'm optimistic about this too. But the thing is, uh, I hope you celebrate very well. I know you will in the UK tonight. Uh, I wish I could be there, but I can't. But uh, I'm with you in spirit. All right, I wish you a fantastic weekend. Bye.